Efavirenz, a non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor by Matt Weiss, Joe Weiner, Michael Carey, and Edward Saliba. The immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, has killed more than 25 million people since its discovery in the early 1980s. AIDS, or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, results from infection by HIV, which compromises its victim's immune system, leaving them susceptible to attack by opportunistic infections. It is a devastating disease that has ravaged populations throughout the planet and can you continually foil doctors and drug makers for almost three decades. A vast amount of information about the virus, its life cycle, and the specific viral proteins essential to its propagation has been collected with the intent of developing drugs that will rid, of, rid us of this scourge. HIV is an RNA retrovirus that specifically targets cells of the immune system, and primarily T cells. Glycoproteins on the surface of the virus, termed spikes, recognize the CD4 receptor of the of the T cells. The spikes bind to the receptor and induce fusion of the membrane of the virus and cell which deposits the viral genome and proteins into the cytoplasm of the host cell. The aim of this fusion is to use host cell machinery to replicate the viral genome and translate viral proteins which will ultimately, ultimately lead to the formation of new viral particles. However, the fact that the viral genome is com composed of RNA poses a major problem. The central dogma states that the flow of genetic information goes from DNA to RNA to proteins. In order to create new viral RNA and proteins, the virus must, make, must take on a seemingly impossible feat of reversing the flow from RNA to DNA. It does, it does so through the use of a very unique protein appropriately named reverse transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase is a fascinating protein that uses the original viral RNA as a template to create double-stranded DNA. This DNA will be used by the host to code for new viral RNA and proteins. Initially, the viral RNA serves as a template for the production of the first strand of DNA, which yields a DNA hyb RNA hybrid molecule. This gets fed through the RNA domain of the protein to remove the RNA from the hybrid. This DNA, which is now single-stranded, is fed back through the polymerase to, double to generate double-stranded DNA, which will be used by the host cell. As shown here, reverse transcriptase is a heterodimeric protein consisting of two related subunits, one of 66 kilodaltons, the P66 subunit, and one of 51 kilodaltons, the P51 subunit. The P66 subunit contains the catalytic activity of the protein. It contains a finger, palm, and thumb domain, which are characteristic of a DNA polymerase. The palm domain contains the catalytic activity of the polymerase, while the thumb and finger domains assist in the binding of RNA and DNA to the active site. In addition, P66 contains an RNase H domain and a connection domain. The connection domain serves as a bridge between the two subunits, while RNase removes the RNA from the DNA-RNA hybrid. The P51 subunit is identical in composition to the P66, except it lacks a C-terminal RNase domain. This results in a closed conformation, absence of cat catalytic activity, giving it more of a structural role for the protein. The polymerase active site. Here, single-stranded viral RNA is transcribed into a RNA-DNA double helix. Ribonuclease H breaks down the RNA. The polymerase then completes the remaining DNA strand to form a DNA double helix. This proviral DNA contains the genetic material of HIV-1. There are two types of reverse transcriptase inhibitors, the first of which are nucleoside RTIs, the second of which are non-nucleoside RTIs. Our molecule, efavirenz, falls into the category of non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Here in this GMO representation is HIV-1 reverse transcriptase. As you can see here, the NNRTI binding pocket is located in the palm domain adjacent to the polymerase active site. The molecule of efavirenz highlighted in white is stabilized in the binding pocket by both H bonding and hydrophobic interactions. As you can see here, the H bonding interactions are between efavirenz and lysine 101 of the reverse transcriptase. Once incorporated into the NNRTI binding pocket, efavirenz interacts hydrophobically via tyrosine 181, tyrosine 188, valine 106, proline 236, lysine 103, leucine 100, and tyrosine 318. 
Many of these interactions are with the three-membered ring and aromatic ring of effervescence. Non-covalent interactions not only serve to hold effervescence within the NNRTI binding pocket, but they also induce a number of conformational changes to the protein that inhibits its catalytic function. The first of these is a 40 degree rotation of the polymerase thumb domain. This increases the distance between the thumb and finger domains, which must be in a closed conformation in order, in order to effectively bind RNA or DNA. As seen in this GMO representation, the thumb and finger domain of unbound HIV-1 RT are, is approximately 2.967 nanometers. As seen here, the distance between the thumb and finger domain greatly increases in the complex RT due to the 40 degree rotation of the thumb domain. The binding of effervescence to the NNRTI binding pocket changes the precise geometry of a highly conserved string of four amino acid residues shown here. This JMOL illustrates these residues before being in complex with effervescence and they play a role in the polymerase and nucleotide primer binding functions of the reverse transcriptase. This JMOL shows this highly conserved region of amino acids after the inhibitor has bound. As we can see, a number of these amino acids, most notably tyrosine-183 and aspartate-185, have rotated, which increases the distance between the selected atoms before and after being in complex with effervescence. This conformational change affects the ability of the polymerase region to properly grip the primer and initiate polymerization of double-stranded DNA. Binding by non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, such as effavirins, greatly reduces the capacity of reverse transcriptase to polymerize double-stranded DNA from viral RNA. As a result, double-stranded DNA cannot be incorporated into the host's genome and viral proteins and viral RNA cannot be synthesized. Due to this, HIV propagation is greatly reduced because new viral particles cannot be produced by host cell machinery. Effavirenz is a potent reverse transcriptase inhibitor. However, due to the high rate of mutation of the viral genome, exclusive use of effavirenz may be ineffective. Common treatments include coupling with nucleoside inhibitors as well as viral protease inhibitors to minimize viral propagation. Hopefully in the near future, through research of viral proteins, we will be able to develop, to develop more effective treatments for HIV-AIDS.